boom the link is in like I said you, really you just reverse the steps you did to get the uh, original one off like I said the vice grip in is the best you're just gonna tighten up your locking because you see how mine's loose tighten that all up to make sure everything doesn't move everything's set you're good to go that's it that's literally all you have to do pretty easy job and I'm gonna get on this rear chassis cradle that should be fairly simple and then we'll finish the video guys i just filmed like five minutes of me talking about this <laughs> bmr rear cradle didn't record any of it i was literally talking to myself but man that kind of messed me up anyway bmr rear uh, cradle brace to front uh the front and rear cradle brace connection is kind of what it is you take this uh, rear one off you can see the biggest difference you got a nice tube here with some good solid welds beautiful welds Versus a stamp steel where they're just that little machines over there tacking its three little lines in They try to double plate it here just to make it a little bit stronger Not really the thing There's a little allen head that you have to take off here allen bolt that uh, screws into Oh man that screws into the felt liner here. There it is on the ground uh, They're all over if you've taken anything apart on these cars. You kind of know they're kind of all over the place so there's that the main thing let me get some light over here that i want to show you guys like i said i recorded all this just two minutes ago but not for you guys i talked to myself is there's this harness here you want to tuck it underneath the the brace i got it kind of pinched here for a second so i had to uh just uh undo it a little bit so i could get that line out 18 millimeter back there for that big bolt and then two 15s here. Fairly, fairly simple to do. It's only three bolts. You don't have to do anything exquisite. Even if you had hand tools, you can do this at home. And I feel like it's a good upgrade. The biggest thing is you can see even, I can't wait to do my upper and lower control arms. They're just stamped steel. They're nothing. They cut the holes out like some Honda guys to make it a little bit lighter. But even then, it's, it's not that great. The BMR stuff isn't much heavier and way stronger makes the car work way better so that's where we're at right now i'm gonna go do the other side and then i'll finish up the video like i said this stuff is simple the rear cradle is very simple you can do it yourself you don't you really don't even need a really crazy setup like i got the jack on the diff lifted up by the diff put two jack stands underneath it it's three bolts if your car isn't lowered and you got hand tools and you don't mind taking a little minute to do it you don't have to jack the car up uh, you can get up underneath it that way uh, I wouldn't recommend it only reason I don't recommend it that way is because this brace does hold the rear cradle um, so you don't want all that pressure from the suspension uh, of the car sitting on the ground on that back bolt here that kind of keeps everything from flexing or tucking underneath the car kind of doing that so you want to you wanna that's why I took mine off the ground just to relieve the pressure but let me finish this up all right so got everything installed and I'm driving the car it feels pretty good I mean I haven't driven the car in a few days so I'm not really comparing just apples to apples to the last thing I experienced in the car but uh, I'm kind of getting to this little windy road we have kind of near nearby that I think will really kind of because I take this road a lot when I after I do something to a car or even if I want to go for a drive I take take the car down this road because it's a pretty good road for the just for some a little spirited driving you can't get crazy on it there's a lot of hills blind spots um, stuff like that but uh, like I said I kind of went through this one uh, turn with some good pretty good speed and it kind of maybe maybe it was just my imagination like i said i'm not comparing to apples to apples but it kind of felt like the car sat in that corner a little bit better uh 
I was kind of thinking to myself while I was doing the cradle brace, the uh, they have little short end links in the back. And after doing these front ones, I really liked them. Uh, the ones in the back are a little bit easier. They don't have the different Allen head bolts you have to use. They're just straight bolts on at least one of my, I think the top's just straight bolt too, maybe. But nonetheless, I, I liked it that, I like the BMR parts, so I want to add that to the rear, uh, if anything. Um, like I said, they don't have any front parts. Well, the front parts on this car, factory, aren't bad. Um, so they're really not worth changing. I was kind of looking now, Wild Hammer Motorsports has some SLP parts that look pretty good. And I'm kind of thinking about getting, not right this second, but they do look good, that I might consider. Um, they're a little bit more than BMR, but I definitely like the BMR stuff in the back, so we'll stick with that for now. But, stuck at a stoplight. Anyways, make sure you like the this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. It was going to be a two-part video. I w did have something planned for the truck, but I'm beat, wore out. I want to go play some Call of Duty with the homies. So, we're going to leave it like it is for today. Come back to the truck. Uh, what I need to do to the truck, it'll actually be better to wait anyway. think about this video like i said drop a comment gotta give me a thumbs up i hope you watched all the ads um subscribe it's your boy stan i love doing this stuff for you guys i do it because it's fun i do it in the garage at home style most of the time sometimes i do it at attitude but i do as much work as i can by myself if not with someone i don't let too many people especially nowadays do work on my vehicles unless an alignment or something i don't care but i mean i'm not about to go somewhere and start aligning and stuff but for the most part i like to do what i can i'm gonna do my corsa exhaust is coming soon uh the new corsa i'm gonna do that in the garage or probably in the driveway i have a little bit more space uh, just like i did these uh cradle braces jack, jack up the rear end i was kind of get myself set up for that too that'll be good stuff like that will be good to go hopefully not. let me just go ahead and get over not using my blinker right now because uh, I'm talking to you guys but we're almost I'm probably gonna have to I don't know put this camera down somewhere and let you guys just kind of flop around in the car because I really want to get on it going through here but I want you guys to kind of be a part of it. I didn't bring any of my mounts or anything so that was great but uh let me see if i can figure it out really quick oh goodness we're getting close guys oh man all right like i said you guys won't be able to oh man there we go camera's gonna go crazy yeah this is gonna be good That was 
great. I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see any of that. Man, I should have turned the PDR on. Why didn't I think of that? Woo! That was great. I might have to flip it around and get another one of those. I was really sticking it in them corners. I don't know if it was the parts or not, or what I just put on, but I was sticking it in them corners. I mean, that's the fastest I've ever went in that section. I won't say anything crazy, but that's definitely the fastest I've ever went. Wow. Let me chill, because I don't have very much gas. Man, I should have turned the PDR on. Golly, I always forget that. Man, that, that right there, that, sh that right there, was good. I'll give you, I can, I can go, let me turn it, hold on. I can give you guys this. All right, I got this one section I can give you guys. It's going to be on the PDR. just as good as the last time though it wasn't quite as fast but the feeling the confidence right there was beautiful all right let me go take this thing back home made plenty of noise Oof. that was that was nice i'll talk to you guys in a second Oof. all right y'all so that was a good time my dad just asked me how it drove, and I told him it could be my imagination, but it sure did feel great. It's dirty as heck, but I'll get to that <laughs> in a minute. Really, like I said, the course is coming. When I get that, I'll have to do some videos and stuff for Corsa, and then that's probably when I'll get this thing all cleaned up. But um, BMR sway bar end links in the front, plus the rear cradle back there. Uh, gets my seal of approval. I I like it a lot uh, Like I said, it could be my imagination, but it sure did feel like a whole different animal I do want to now at this point. I want to I wasn't gonna get them But now I want the rear uh, end links that go in the back for the rear sway bar Just because I like the ones in the front so much. So that's kind of how it goes but um Nonetheless, I appreciate you guys for watching like I said Make sure you do all the stuff I said. Like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Uh, everybody have a good day.